a very good morning and praise the lord to all of you today's morning man our topic is 10 times better so god is going to bless you 10 times daniel first chapter 20th verse and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them he found them 10 times better than all magicians and astrologers that were in the realm see the king nebuchadnezzar was ruling almost the entire world at that time so in his old realm he was he saw these poor people only 10 times better than all the magicians and astrologers that much they were bright and they were smart not only in some things in all matters of wisdom and understanding so whatever the king asked them they were able to answer it his child of god not only in wisdom daniel first chapter 15th verse their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in flesh see not only in wisdom they were fairer means they were, their physical appearance also very pleasantable and their fatter in flesh means they were very healthy see they were eating normal food only here that doesn't mean vegetarian or non vegetarian or vegans here they mean that unclean foods so they don't want to defile their body by eating unclean foods so so they even then their body was fatter they were looking fairer and fresh and for daniel first chapter 17th verse god gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams see god only gave them see they didn't do anything god only gave them knowledge and skill in all learning skill means some people will be skilled in one thing but they were skilled in everything all learning and wisdom and moreover god bestowed daniel with extra blessing that he had understanding in all visions and dreams as child of all now the same god is ready to bless you why god bestowed them with extra talent why because daniel first chapter 8th verse daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself he is child of god just take a strong decision in your heart that you should not defile your body body yes the body is the temple of the living ghost so the holy spirit is living in you how can you defile your body by unnecessary drinks unnecessary bad habits unnecessary food habits unnecessary uh, worldly things you can't defile your body just to save your body just to keep your body holy and pleasantable to god so he he purposed in his heart see i won't defile my body same way you also take a strong decision in your heart that i won't defile my body this body belongs to god so i won't eat unnecessary things i won't drink unnecessary things i won't have worldly actions worldly things on my body as yes, child of god take a strong decision and second what they did all the four of them they feared god and they worshiped god only they didn't worship the statue and they didn't worship the king same way you also should worship only lord jesus you should you should not worship any other people any other person also you should not keep as a idol in your life in psalms 111 10th verse it is written the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments see when i read this i was overwhelmed over excited because the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom this was everybody knows but a good understanding if you want a good understanding and if you want to know about what how to eat how to survive in this world how to excel in studies how to excel in career how to get everything how to pass in flying colors you have to what you have to do do uh, is commandments you have to follow his commandments what does his commandment say god's commandment says you should not idol worship you should not worship people and you should fear god only you should not do defile your body so if you obey to his commandments really god will bless you 10 times so you will be 10 times beautiful 10 times fairer 10 times fatter 10 times healthier and 10 times smarter in this earth amen 
our loving heavenly father we thank you and praise the lord for this wonderful day that you given us thank you lord for your grace and mercy yes lord master help us to be like daniel and his friends lord lord from this day onwards we are taking a strong decision in our heart that we won't defile our body master help us to cling to you help us to fear you help us to obey and follow your commandment so that we can master 10 times better in everything lord lord in appearance in lord in lord smart in smartness lord in lord master in healthier also master lord you bless us abundantly so that lord master we can shine for you in jesus name we ask this prayer amen pray A very good morning and praise the Lord to all of you. Today's morning manna topic is recognize Jesus and leap in joy. Recognize Jesus and leap in joy. If you know who is Jesus, you will forget about everything and leap in happiness. Yes, child of God, Jesus means savior. Savior means he'll save from sin, he'll save from sickness, he'll save from hell, he'll save from all kinds of disease and he'll save from all the enemies, all the problems. He'll save you from tears he'll save you from all tribulations and trials yes christ means anointed one anointed means he was anointed with the holy spirit yes christ means anointed one messiah means christ lamb of god he has come to as a remission for our sins so we know the name of jesus we are having like we are believers for so many years but still we are not able to enjoy his presence still we are weeping still we are crying still still we are facing lot of problems in our life why because we are not recognizing him properly you recognize jesus in your life recognize is the power of jesus in your life and automatically you will leap out in joy the baby the fetus john of 6 months in mother's womb as soon as he heard mary pronouncing the name of jesus he leaped out of joy see the baby the fetus itself knowing like when he heard the 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 uh, name of jesus it is leaping out of joy how much it was rejoicing we are born again christians for so many years we are not able to enjoy god's presence we are not en- able to enjoy the salvation of god because we are not understanding him properly so understand recognize jesus properly and leap out in joy elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit as soon as she heard the good news see so you also will be filled with the holy spirit whenever you hear the name of jesus and mary rejoiced in the lord see she was telling her my heart is rejoicing because she is overwhelmed she is overwhelmed with the joy of that uh, the salve the savior is going to be born as yes, child of god the savior is going to be born so rejoice and shepherds glorified and praised god see shepherds who are they they are normal people but when as soon as they heard the name of jesus they glorified they praised and then they went told to everybody about the birth of jesus multitude of heavenly hosts started praising god see already they are praising god in heaven but they came to earth and they praised god as child of god we also automatically new song should come in our mouth we also have to start singing and praising god and simeon blessed the baby by singing see he blessed the baby he was waiting for the peace he was waiting for the 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 savior to be born so he took the baby and he was praising god he blessed the baby so same way we also should praise god and now gave thanks to the lord in luke 238 it is written see she is a 84 year old uh, widow as soon as she heard the good news the birth of savior she also thanked god and spoke about the savior to everyone right from baby in the womb to 84 years old women they praised they rejoiced they leaped they glorified sang as as soon as they heard the name of jesus child of god you too recognize the power in his name and rejoice in this life amen our loving heavenly father we thank you and praise the lord for this wonderful day that you given us thank you for your goodness and mercy you have been so good to us master help us to lord understand the power in the name of jesus us and recognize it and acknowledge it so that we won't cry we won't be in sad situation help us to leap out in joy and tell the good news to everybody in jesus name we ask this prayer amen praise the lord
a very good morning and praise lord to all of you today's morning manna topic is covered earnestly the best gifts first corinthians 12 chapter 13 31st verse while giving the 10 commandments god said do not covet covet means like lying for others you want to uh, achieve something you are seeing by your eyes and you want to achieve in your life that is only covet some people if they see something they want to achieve they strive very hard somehow i want to buy this somehow i want to achieve this they have some goal and they see and they want to achieve it same word is used here in first corinthians 12th chapter 31st verse like you have to covet earnestly see god said do not covet others property but we have to covet earnestly the special gifts that god has kept for us as child of god that means it shows the importance of the gifts of the holy spirit you must be asking why what is holy spirit and why it is needed why it is needed because in 12th chapter 17th verse it is written but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all so it is given it has been given to you or individual prophet so like if you receive the gifts of holy spirit you will grow more in god and your inner man will be strengthened uh, so for your individual profit and then later on for others profit only the gifts of the holy spirit are given so you must be asking what are the gifts of the holy spirit so child of god please take some time and meditate on this 12th chapter then only you can understand what i mean by holy spirit what i mean by the gifts of the holy spirit first i want to say the contest the contest is now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit fourth and fifth verse i am reading and there are differences of administration but the same lord and there are diversities of operation but it is the same god which worketh worketh all in all that means what there are so many kinds of uh, uh, holy spirit gift and there are so many kinds of administration there are so many kinds of ministries but all controlled by one god that is our jesus christ and all controlled by the one spirit that is holy spirit so the holy spirit is given for the for your own prophet so let us see the nine gifts of the holy spirit you must be knowing the nine gifts but i'm i'm telling you in a simple way so that you can easily remember i'm dividing the nine gifts into three sub parts the first one is to say something you have to say something so the first is speaking in tongues so speaking in tongues means that is heavenly language god has given to some people so some people will have that gift some people wouldn't have that is not a issue but that is one of the spirit uh, one of the gift of the holy spirit and the second one is prophesying prophesying means future predict prediction like for some people god will tell that in the future this is going to happen and the third one is interpretation of tongues some people they will tell uh, prophecy in heavenly language and the people won't understand they know that god is speaking but they don't know understand so some people have this special uh, gift is they interpret in the language spoken in the in that area so this is called interpretation of tongues and the second category is you have to know something see first you have to speak second we have to know something what we have to know word of wisdom wisdom is what god so if you have if you are scared if you are feared you you need to know the word of god which word in which situation you have to ease to use so the first one is word of wisdom the second is word of knowledge see god only gives knowledge so he will tell you what to read how to walk how to lead a happy life and a sinless life in this earth so second one is the word of knowledge and the third one is the discerning of spirit now some uh, now as the end of the day so many people they are so many false teachings no like uh, uh, roaming here and there people are diverting the good people uh, the church is getting spoiled by wrong doctrine so you have to discern the spirit in third verse if you read you can understand if you have holy spirit with you the holy spirit will tell you which is holy spirit which is evil spirit so child of god you know everybody should have the discerning of spirit because they should not spoil you they should not pull you away from the real gospel 
so the third category is the doing in action we have to do something in action first one is faith see if faithless action act, uh, if you don't use faith in actions mean it is a dead faith so you have to use your faith in action you have to speak out and the second is healing for some people god has blessed them with healing so when you pray for other people then immediately they'll be healed and third one is working of miracles you can stop the nature itself if you rain is pouring like god has given some power to stop the rain or bring rain or so many things like that so working of miracles like in body so many parts put together makes the human form it is called human body likewise all this gifts given to individuals to use it for their sp- spiritual edification and later on for the church the congregation also so covet earnestly the best gifts and use it for the glorification of god amen a loving heavenly father we thank you and praise you lord for this wonderful day that you given us thank you for your goodness and mercy thank you for speaking lord with us through your verses yes master lord lord help us to covet earnestly the best gift that you have kept for us master not the worldly gifts master rather Lord we are coveting earnestly Lord the spiritual gift so that it can edify us and Lord master it can be profit for us and for others also Lord help us to grow in you more and more in Jesus name we ask this prayer amen very good morning and praise the lord to all of you today's morning man our topic is god is my instructor instructor means a person who teaches or guides he tells you about what is good and bad and how to deal with these things because he he'll be the expert he has done he has done masters in that he has done doctorate in that so he can instruct you correctly psalms 32 8 i will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go i will guide thee with my nice see see in the world only jesus can instruct us instruct us because you want uh, the teacher should know everything then only he can teach the other children same way in this world nobody can give us counseling nobody can lead us in good path because all are failed in some or the other means they would have failed in so many things so if somebody comes and teaches us what will we say we will say first you set right first you be correct in that then you can come and give advice and moreover we don't like uh, we don't like to take advices from people we say first you correct yourself or your family members then you can come and give lecture to us so but god as the power is the only person who can instruct us who can guide us and teach us in the way what we should go and he will guide us with own eyes see he will keep his eyes on us and he will guide us where to go how to go how to talk how to cook how to work how to deal things in this earth isaiah 48 chapter 17th verse thus saith the lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel i am the lord the god which teacheth thee to profit which leadeth thee by the way thou shouldest go see god only can give us advice because he is the holy one in him there is no sin so he has the right to give us advice and he has the right to give us lecture also because he can redeem us from all our sins and sickness he is telling i am teaching you for your profit only see god doesn't do any like he won't teach us to do bad things but god teaches us for our own profit which leadeth thee by the way thou shouldest go so he will tell walk in this invest in this do this job study this select this course like so many things dress like this eat like this so everything god will tell us and thou shouldest go isaiah 54 chapter 13th verse all the children shall be taught of the lord and great shall be the peace of their children that means what we are all children of jesus so he will teach us of the lord so the lord will teach us how to behave in this world and great shall be the peace of the children so we 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 will live in great peace we won't have any sorrow in our life proverbs 11 chapter 14th verse where no counsel is the people fail but in the multitude of counselors there is safety so if we don't have any advice or nobody is there to instruct you 
they will walk according to them and they will fail we should not be like that we have we should have a multitude of counselor who is that counselor jesus is our counselor jesus is our instructor so before taking any decision sit at his feet and ask him lord shall i go forward with this or what should i do you speak to me like that if you ask really god will give you good go he is the best guide he is the best instructor he, uh, he will guide you and lead you in the path of righteousness where you will flourish amen i love you when the father we thank you and praise the lord for this wonderful day that you given us thank you for your goodness and mercy thank you for speaking with us lord through your words master you have been so good to us you are my instructor lord help me to listen from you and walk according to it in jesus name we ask this prayer amen